Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with episodes 4, 5, and 6 of Last Man Season 2. That's right, we are belting out these last three episodes, and I hate it. <laughs> I actually, uh, you, you guys know, I've talked about it before, if you're new to the channel, um, I don't like marathoning stuff. I actually prefer not to um and only do it if i'm like really invested in a series usually to where it's like especially if it's something like one piece where it's like oh there's a bunch of episodes so sometimes it's just easier to get through multiple at a time um but with most like just regular length series whether it be a single core or double core um either way i prefer strongly to get to them as they come out without having to worry about uh doing like marathoning through a bunch of them and if it's a series that comes out on streaming like all at once i try to space it out um with this i've been doing that like doing each episode one at a time and spacing it out a little more than honestly i would have preferred um but now we're getting through the second half of the season all at once because I need the space. <laughs> I need the slot open for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, which we started this past Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I need the space open. I, I don't want to just add Jujutsu Kaisen into the schedule. I don't want to have another show taking up space. So I decided I'm going to get through the last half of this season all at once and just get it done with plus it's just it's taking so long to get through these like i think it's been like a month since the last episode um i could check real quick because i have my uh youtube studio open pretty much at all times <laughs> so i could just i just go there and type last man into the filter and it will pop up last man videos yeah, it was June 16th when we put up episode 2, or episode 3, rather. It has been over a month, because it's July 24th now. It has literally been over a month since we've put up Last Man. And various things added to that, such as the TrotCon uh, vacation and everything, but that's kind of sad that we hadn't gotten to any of this series since then. Um, so, that's another reason. It's like, I know I have the series as one of the occasionals on the channel, along with One Piece. One of those shows that I just get to on occasion when I'm able to, but isn't like a consistent weekly thing like other stuff on the channel is. And I'm fine having that as a slot. But the problem is... It's also annoying to be waiting a long time. And the entire... I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> oh. Excuse me. I knew that was coming. Um, the reason it takes so long on these is because the series is very intense and very... Uh, very much... Uh, just a big thing to deal with each time. Um, plus, you know, they're double length. So there's that too. Um, but getting through 301 is going to be crazy. Like basically three hours worth of content here. That's going to be wild. Um, and not necessarily in the good way. Um, I'm hoping to still, I, I'm still going to enjoy this. I'm still going to like uh, the route of this season for sure. It's just kind of coming down to a matter of, um, is this going to end up becoming too much for me? Am I going to end up having trouble keeping, not, nece not necessarily keeping focus, but keeping as invested? Um... And you may, be, you may be watching this and thinking to yourself, like, then why are you doing this? If you're clearly not into doing it this way, why are you doing this? 
and, and it's like again it's just i don't want to I don't want to do it normally because I don't want to, again, add just another show onto the current uh, list. But at the same time, I don't want to try to like force myself to do three episodes this week because I don't like forcing myself to get to reactions when I might not be feeling it. Today I am very much up for doing this series. So I'm ready to do this. It's just I, I'm I'm getting through three episodes at once. Um, I'm just a little concerned about being basically exa mentally exhausted afterwards. Um, I'm very much in the mood to do this series. That's not an issue. The issue is just I'm basically sitting down for three hours of the same thing. And for a series that is pretty emotionally uh, intense as it is, so that's that's my only concern. It's just I, I want to get this taken care of so we can put Jujutsu Kaisen properly on the schedule, and it, it should be good. We should be fine. <laughs> I know I'm making this seem a lot worse than it actually is, but we should be fine. So, last time we had the episode on Tomie, uh, or Tomi, uh, I'm not actually 100% on the pronunciation. I think they say Tomi in the show, but I think I've just always said Tomie, so I'm probably going to keep just always saying Tomie, <laughs> just by instinct. Um, but we saw how her parts connected to others, and like how she was like kind of acting behind the scenes and everything and it was really interesting um so now i don't know what we're gonna get next but i'm excited to find out like this season has been really interesting very different than season one um and i i i, I believe i said this last time but i don't know if we're gonna actually get any conclusiveness to you know to Richard finding his daughter in, in this season. Um, it seems like just with the way they're going, the, the pacing they're going at, it's it's hard to say if that's going to actually happen, if we're going to get that closure or not. Um, I don't know if they're planning a season three right now, um, but maybe? I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm excited nonetheless. Let's get through these and hope that I'm not too exhausted at the end. <laughs> so, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes. So, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. So, you know what the storytelling format of this reminds me of? The, 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 the way it, like, bounces back and forth between different time points and everything? You know what that reminds me of? Bakano. Have you, have you ever seen the anime Bakano? Or, to a lesser degree, uh, Durarara? Um, but especially Bakano. If you've ever seen that, you know that's exactly what it does. It tells the story in a very disconnected way. It goes between a few different uh, time periods. And gives you bits of each time period at a time, switching between them just sporadically, in a way. And... As you watch the series, you start to pick up on everything a lot better. You start to get more used to it, and it all starts to make sense. You start to connect with what each time period is doing and how each one bleeds into the other. And it's very much the same with this series. It, it, it bounces around between different times. Uh, different episodes like take place in different time periods, some before others, uh, but also different points in episodes. Like, there, like, certain episodes will show, like, multiple different points in time for the same character. Like, one of these episodes had, like, multiple points in time for Richard. 
for example, and Tomie as well. And then it's like, we see things a little out of order. So to find out that Richard has been there since the same point that the car went through, technically just before, it's like, I feel like we kind of knew that, but it, like, it feels like it was revealed to us at the end here. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I believe they were chasing down Richard on the motorcycle. No, I think we knew that. I don't remember there being two other people on it, though. That, that part I might have just forgotten. Again, with reacting to the first three episodes of this as sporadically as we had, um, it's hard to remember every little detail. Um... But it's like, it's just, I just didn't put together that technically that meant Richard was already in the Valley of the Kings. Because of the way it kept skipping back and forth between these different time periods, it just, it didn't connect in my head yet. So at the end, when we see that that's when he made it through compared to them, it's like, he's been in there like this whole ass time. And so it kind of makes you wonder what he's been doing, like where he's been, like what he's been facing since arriving in there. Um, it's really interesting, actually, to think about now that we got that information. But let's talk about each episode uh, back to back. Um, so we start with episode four, which is Siri, and easily my favorite episode of the season. Um, not even a question. Uh, Siri is my favorite episode of the season by far, and the one I was waiting for the most. Like, I didn't know what these episodes were going to be going into this. I didn't know, like, who they were going to focus on. Um, but the one thing I wanted when I first began the season is to find out what happened to Siri. That was the big thing. And we really hadn't been getting that. So... Once I started today, it's like that was still my big hope to find that out before this season ended. And right away in episode one, we get that. We find out that after coming through, Siri was found and basically taken as a slave slash forced apprentice by this crazy sexist cult. Um... Basically, they're a, they're a warrior cult who believe that men are the warriors, women are basically servants who are there to be uh, raped and to serve. That's it. And it's horrific. It's, it's absolutely evil. Siri is kept in a cage where she has to, uh, she has to contend with this violent dog. Uh, which she eventually does manage to tame through just, you know, fighting it. But the only person there who's nice is one of the women. Um, and during all of this, Siri is literally forced to pretend to be a, a, a boy just to survive. She's taken as an apprentice by a, a, one of these uh, leaders, one of these uh, masked individuals, these warriors and trained over the course of these 10 years to be an exceptional warrior. But because of how she's treated, because of how she's beaten down and everything that's just like, like just abused into her, she kind of starts to lose her sense of self. At first she plans to escape with this, uh, this one girl who was nice to her. They had become friends, and there's definitely something to say about shipping them. <laughs> um, you want you want to see them escape, but um, series master ends up seeing the flip book she made and beating the absolute shit out of her. It causes their escape plan to be stopped. And Siri to remain there to continue to train for the rest of the time. After all of this is done, she's about to be initiated in. It's like 10 years later already. She's in her early 20s now. She's big and buff and everything. And she decides that she's sick of this all and kills 
all of these guys. There's literally only one guy who survives, and he dies later on anyway. Um, but it's all, all of this to free the women here. But unfortunately, when she uh, starts to fight back, they, they save the one dude from before, the one with the glasses and all. They save him, and he helps them learn to use guns and all. They're defending their their uh, monastery, temple, whatever you want to call it, against some invaders. Um, what's his face, his people? God, his name it always escapes me. Harry. Harry's people. Um, they're defending against them. And it ends up being like quite a bloodbath. A lot of the girls die. I'd say most of them. Um, the one male warrior still there dies. It's like just so many deaths. Um, and Siri, Siri, like even before this, is revealed to be a girl to everyone, so they all know at that point. And it's just like it's just a whole big thing. But things manage to work out, and she ends up, a after the monastery is saved, she leaves with the guy with the sunglasses to find herself again, leaving the one girl behind to kind of take charge and, you know, protect everyone there and all, help them out. Um, and so, yeah, Siri, Siri has very much changed in these 10 years. She's, she's hardened, she's a shell of her former self, and barely even knows who she is anymore. I don't even know if she would recognize the name Siri at this point. She adopted the name Christo when she got her mask and has just been living a life of pain and torture for basically half of her life. She was only 12 when she went through. It's been 10 years. That's almost half of her entire life. She's been going through this shit. But hopefully this means that she will reunite with Richard before long. Um, I don't know if season three is already planned or not. I don't know if it's like in pre-production or production or if it's just even been announced that it's happening. But I really hope we do get a season three because it's like there's obviously still much more to this story at least one more season in fact i think probably the final season will be enough to finish it off based on where we're at i don't think it would need to go beyond that um but yeah the episode like seeing series struggle seeing her go through all of this only to come out on top as this this like strong powerful warrior goddess basically <laughs> It's, it's great to see. It's great to see her come out on top. It's great to see her succeed. And it's just... It's a big positive for her character. And all we know that she's doing now, like with the, the last two episodes after that, is all we know that she's still traveling with the one guy and training with him. So, yeah. We don't really know what's to come next with her. But hopefully, like I said, hopefully she and Richard do reunite before too long. I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, I assume she'll recognize Richard, but I'm wondering how that reuniting will go. <sighs> Meanwhile, we had the second episode here, Marianne, and this one focused on what happened to Harry, uh, not Harry, um, oh my god, I, I had his name throughout all of this and now it's escaping me. Um, Howard. It starts with an H as well. Um, we've this one focuses on like what happened to Howard after the fact and everything. Uh, what he's go been going through since he arrived at the valley. We find out that he ends up meeting this woman named Marianne. They fall in love and they marry, even with her becoming pregnant. Unfortunately the world has rejected him because he wasn't supposed to go through there. He wasn't who was called to go through. So the world's been rejecting him and sending 
just possessed people after him. The, the, the valley itself seems to be possessing these people and giving them the idea that both Howard and him and Marianne's unborn child is the devil, a demon, basically, that needs to be wiped from wiped from the valley just either to leave or to um you know die <laughs> um and so we see kind of both of the both howard and marianne's stories in this both of them because because howard decides to leave in order to save her and the child because he thinks the curse is just after him and we see both of them just kind of trying to survive while both of them are being followed by the curse. Um, Howard ends up realizing and finding out that he can't stop the curse, that the curse is just because he's here, that nothing will halt that unless he dies. So he finds a way to use magic to bring him back after he dies. He kills himself, shoots himself in the head, but the magic brings him back. It does stop the curse on him. It does stop the curse on him and seemingly on uh, on the child as well. But it causes Howard to transform into this monstrous form. Um, he still has intelligence, but he's definitely been corrupted. He's not inherently evil as we see when he interacts with Sam in the last episode but he's just he's very much lost who he is more than ever um I just wish he had died honestly but I'll, I'll, I'll get into that Marianne meanwhile is trying to escape from everything she ends up having a, a friend go with her at one point uh they become close, but then the friend ends up getting possessed as well. She has to tie her up, and we find out this uh, other lady, through being possessed, um, doesn't like her or or the baby anymore, and just sees sees the baby as a demon that needs to be purged. So that went well. Um, and we see throughout this episode, we also see a little bit of Tomie and Richard's backstory and w when Tomie was pregnant with their kid and how she ended up losing it. Um, she lost her baby. It seems like somehow was connected to Marianne and her baby. Marianne's kids survived and they did manage to make it out to Howard's world. But eventually, it's shown in the last episode, they seem to come back. It looked like. And that's... I, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, if that makes any sense. But maybe we'll get more about that if there is a season three coming. Um, so Howard has just kind of become this monstrous form, just standing around, continuing to hate on the world he came from, and just see the Valley of the Kings as perfection even though it's literally led him to become like this it's like dude has deluded me on reason Marianne and her kid are fine Tomie and Richard are still broken up and Richard uh the last anyone's seen of him was like escaping from this entire uh this entire death uh arena show that uh we'll get to but the second episode here uh, was probably my least favorite, if I'm being honest. Part of that is because I can't stand Howard. Um, so I just did not care what happened to him. Um, although I did want him to die, and it's like, that just didn't work out. Um, Marianne, I, I, I'm fine with, I have no issue with, but at the same time, it's like, I just wasn't as connected to her as with, like, other characters, especially, like, especially after coming off of the Siri episode, which is the highlight of the season. Um, I just couldn't connect with her as much. It's just, the episode itself felt a little more boring to me, um, because of that kind of stuff. The curse was interesting, but I feel like wasn't super exciting to watch, you know what I mean? 
Um, yeah, just it was the weakest of these three episodes, and I'd say one of the weakest this season, if not the weakest. Um, but then we have the final episode, Sam. So we this episode we're following Richard pretty extensively. Uh, Richard ends up going to pr the prison to see Sam, this uh, prisoner who was arrested for pedophilia, I guess, even though it seems like that's very much not what happened. It seems like that was a lie that was put onto him because of the shit that actually happened and everything. Um, they just had to pin something on him or whatnot. So, his entire thing was that he had this, uh, statement about being, um, about going to the valley and experiencing all of that, and Richard obviously believes him. The only problem is Richard can't find out more and be around him unless he gets arrested and goes to this murder arena. So, he starts attacking a bunch of police and guards and stuff, gets arrested and goes to the murder arena. Um, and this, like I said in the episode, reminded me a lot of some of stuff like uh, the Hunger Games. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that in the reaction, but that's definitely something else it reminded me of. But also, obviously, the Purge. It's like you're, tank you're taking condemned criminals and you're putting them into a murder arena where they're being hunted down by four hired assassins is what it basically comes down to they're hunting them down for sport it's televised people are voting on it to determine points it's entirely fucked up um but yeah there's like i think it was 12 criminals are being hunted down so richard ends up teaming up not only with sam but with this uh this woman who uh is handicapped she has no arms um i don't know if it's ever I, I don't remember if it was explained why i don't remember if it was like uh just something she was born with or if she lost her arms like earlier in her life i don't know if it was ever explained um if it was i somehow missed it but she was in prison for strangling her husband to death which she said she did it with her pussy which we just mean she did it with her, you know, her thighs, her legs. Um, and so they team up and work to start taking out the hunters. As well as just to escape. And it's going mostly well. They managed to take out the hunters working together. And yeah, it's... It's pretty intense throughout seeing this entire uh, death game going on. Uh, but then they get to the final three. There's three left. Uh, the father, the son, or the son. The father was brought in to help the son. And then there's also the last one who we'll get to. So they're facing the father and the son at first. Um, the, the, the girl with the thighs captures the father, squeezing his head between her thighs, like threatening to, like, you know break his neck or pop his head or whatnot and it's like okay listen <laughs> she's hot and she got that thigh game going strong it's like okay we we get it like you didn't have to go that hard <laughs> listen listen i'm into buff girls who could crush my head with their thighs it's a type a lot of people are into that thing. I am very much one of those people. So, seeing that, it's just like, I just wanted to see her do it. it it's like, it, it kind of makes me think of like, uh, Hell of a Boss. That's the season one episode. I want to say seven? The episode with the dorks. Uh, when they're fighting the dorks, uh, she does uh, snap one of their necks uh, with her thighs, Millie. Um, and it's like, it's, it's a great moment. Um, I was already attracted to Millie at that point, but it's like, yes, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's like, same kind of energy here. <laughs> but 
the son is like he has the gun pointed at them he's like they're trying to get him to to not shoot the father's telling him to shoot he ends up accidentally shooting his own father in the head so homegirl doesn't even need to use her massive hot thighs this obviously fucks the kid up they knock him out and start to escape with him but the final hunter comes along uh this mother of two who had been there and while richard escapes with the kid and everything and sam uh homegirl stays behind chooses to sacrifice herself for them to escape and just goes out like a total fucking badass like she just takes down the woman forces her to have to use an explosive for a murder suicide just to you know stop her both of them end up dying and richard sam and the kid escape the kid being unconscious for part of it but the three of them escape and at that point because all the hunters except for the boy are dead um it's open season they basically open up the fences and tell everyone it's like you want to go after them go after them it's free free game at this point shoot to kill have fun and so yeah we see people go after richard sam and the boy we see um some people go after the remaining prisoners inside the arena still and it mostly focuses on Richard, Sam, and uh, the boys' ride towards the uh, towards the entrance to the valley. Sam ends up dying right at the entrance after they have to t fight a bunch of goons, uh, for a bunch of Milo's goons. Um, the boy survives. I assume he ends up leaving um, after that, but I guess we don't technically know if he survives like in the end and richard goes through alone into the valley and that's how it ends this episode was really good because we got to actually really focus on richard again here i don't think we really did that since the first episode um but we really focused on richard and the entire death arena thing while absolutely fucked up and disturbing was entertaining it was fun to watch. It was fun to see them uh, take out these hunters in different ways. Even going into this, the trap with the yogurt stall and everything. Um, it's it, it can be entertaining even if we know it's fucked up and all. Because it's, it's media. It's fake. Obviously something like this could never happen in real life. Um, not in today's day and age. There are too many moral and ethical uh, issues with it that would just... It would not be able to to make to happen it just wouldn't uh but it's fiction and we can look at that through the lens of yeah it's entirely fucked beyond reason but it's entertainment we know it's fake we know it's not going to happen we know that it's just for entertainment it's the same thing with something like mortal kombat obviously you don't condone the hyper violent murder and gore and insanity of the mortal kombat games you just enjoy them for what they are it's a video game and it's like a lot of people like have tried over the years to argue that oh it's going to make kids violent stuff but that's been disproven to hell and back it's like vi violent video games violent media in general does not make kids violent or just anyone it just does not work like that it's been literally proven so it's like watching this kind of thing seeing it as entertainment and enjoying yourself it's not going to affect how you are in real life it's like it's not like you can still acknowledge that this is entirely fucked up and still enjoy it from that perspective that's all i'm trying to say um yeah this episode was definitely better than the marianne one and the way it ended off gave us a lot of hope for the future but 
it is still very inconclusive and because of that is lacking that closure lacking that satisfaction for the season um and, and i'm not saying that it ends poorly i'm just saying that there's no closure it's not satisfying because we don't see anything really positive come from it a lot of the characters we liked ended up dying a lot of the uh a lot of this was a very short amount of actual time outside of like the 10 years we watched for Siri. Um, a lot of this took place like within a short amount of time, just kept skipping back between different points of it with different characters. Like th in the last episode, we see points like with Richard, like talking to that cabbie, we see Harry seeing him. We saw that er in, in Harry's episode, Harry saw Richard going into that cab and all, but now we see it from Richard's perspective. And that, that's how a lot of this season works, just switching to the different perspectives. Because of that, it allows for not actually much to happen overall. And I think that's why the Siri episode is my favorite, because it's mostly disconnected. While it does connect with the one, the glasses guy coming in, the one guy who's working for Milo and everything, while it does connect with him coming into play, and even with Harry's uh, part of it all, and seeing Harry actually does finally uh, get killed, um, it's otherwise mostly disconnected. It's mostly just what has been happening with Siri these 10 years. And I, I, I think that's the best part of it. And I don't mind how everything else is connected and switching back and forth between perspectives. But I also like having an episode where it's just basically one perspective the entire time where it's just siri like because even when milo and or not milo even when harry came in uh it was still from siri's perspective the entire episode was so i think that was uh i think that was a good decision especially for it to be series episode to do that with um, I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and like I said, I'm happy that she's not only alive, obviously, but, um, that she's doing better after all the shit she went through. And I really do genuinely hope that when she and Richard do reunite, that there is a tearful, happy reunion. Like... I, I want to see her give him a big ol' hug. And obviously with tears in his eyes for him to return the favor. He's been, he, he has not given up hope this entire time. He's had his down moments, but he kept fighting to try and find her these 10 years. And she, meanwhile, has always wanted to find him too, has always wanted to get back to him. But she has also lost herself a little bit and has to find herself again because of the way she was tortured and raised and everything. It's horrific. But luckily, things ended on a positive note for them. Um, those were the two big ones. Tomie as well, who I wanted to see a happy ending for in this season at least. Tomie not, hasn't really received that, unfortunately. So hopefully... She'll get a happy ending with the next season if and when it comes out. Um, but at least we got two out of three, so <laughs> not bad. Um, I'm really, I, I, I really enjoyed this season, though. I really did. Like I said in the reaction, I do kind of wish I had kept it to the one episode at the time. But I did need to open up this space for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Because I, I can't keep both of them on there at the same time. It's just, it's going to, it's going to take too much out of me, but it's also going to just, I'm not going to be able to handle it, like, this thing about too much. So if I cut that out, I feel like I'll be fine. Stick to what we've got for now. Stop adding in new shit. <laughs> Honestly, I would like to cut down my schedule a little bit, but I don't think I can do that right now. I don't think there's a way to to handle that super well at the moment. 
Um, but yeah, so this was it was a good end. It was a good ending to the to the season. But like I said, it just lacked that that conclusiveness. It just lacked a feeling of satisfaction at the end because nothing really fully resolved yet. So hopefully we do get season three. Hopefully it's hopefully they're working on it now. That would be preferable. I honestly don't know, and I have had like a hell of a hard time even looking shit up for this series. Um, so it's like if anyone can let me know, um, and, and keep me up to date on the progress, like maybe in the Discord server, I would appreciate it. Um, because I very much want season three. It's like I loved season one. It took forever to get to season two. And now I've loved season two, and so hopefully we don't have to wait as long for season three. Because I really, really want to see the reuniting bet uh, 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 of Richard and Siri. I really want to see that. So tell me in the comments below what did you think of these three episodes, and thank you so much. So like I said, this is this spot is being replaced by Jujutsu Kaisen season two. That will be on the uh, the channel banner and everything from here on out. And you should already know from when we did the first episode this past Friday, that's just going to be on Fridays. Because of when it comes out, it's just like we're just going to get to that as a thing just every Friday. Because it's currently airing. Uh, for the dub, at least. Well, both the dub and sub are currently airing, but you know what I mean. Um, so that's going to be Fridays. Um... We're also doing the other thing on Fridays as well. The other currently airing show, which... Why is that escaping my mind? Um, I'm completely blanking out. Link Click. Wow, of all things to, to, to forget, Link Click, one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, those are both still going to be on Fridays, except for next week. Just as a reminder... Next week, uh, Monday the 31st through Friday the 4th, I want to say. Um, yeah, the 4th, I was correct. Monday the 31st through Friday the 4th is going to be a donation reward uh, appreciation week. The entire week will be nothing but donation rewards. So there will be no uh, Link Click or Jujutsu Kaisen next week. I'll just get to those the following week. Probably get to the episodes I missed early on in the week and then get to the new episodes at the end. That's probably how I'll end up doing it. Um, but yeah, all of, ne all of next week is going to be that. All of next week will be just donation reward stuff and it's going to mostly be the new stuff. Um, I made a video talking about it, what that week's going to entail. So if you want all the details on that, you can go there. And I'll probably make another video by the end of this week to just remind everyone as well. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all so much for tuning in. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See you all next time.